Originally, there was a, a domestic call that was in this location. Uh, the Park County Sheriff that come into the Park County Sheriff's Department at approximately 11 uh, 13. At 11 14, officers from the Park County Sheriff's Department arrived at the scene. Upon their arrival at the scene, there was a suspect that was located outside the residence. Uh, that uh, suspect then started firing at the officers. The officers took cover uh, during the one the officers was taking cover. Um, he received some superficial wounds. That officer has been transported to the, a local hospital and is being checked out with uh, non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, the officers then returned fire, uh, striking the suspect. Upon striking the suspect, of course, the, the suspect was uh, given immediate uh, medical care. Upon giving immediate, immediate medical care, was transported to the Clinton County Hospital. Um, and upon there, um, he's receiving medical care, and I do not know the status of the suspect at, as of this moment. Gotcha, so they were not lifeline? They were not lifeline, no. They are located at um, Clinton City Hospital. Um, that's where they're located at right now. Gotcha, and the officer, were they state police as well? No, the, the officer that was involved in the, uh, in the incident was a Park County Sheriff's deputy. Uh, Sheriff Justin Cole requested that the Indian State Police investigate the incident. Uh, we will be doing the crime scene investigation. I know we have several uh, detectives that are on location right now uh, speaking to the witnesses and gathering all the information so that way we can gather the information and provide it to the Park County uh, Prosecutor's Office for a, a review at a later time. And you said you were responding to a domestic call, correct? This was originally becoming as a domestic call to the uh, Park County uh, Dispatch Center. And then once upon arriving, I mean, within one minute, the officers had relayed on the radio that they were officers were being shot at from the suspect. So did they get a chance at all to make contact with the suspect before shots were fired? Or Absolutely not. No, that immediately upon their arrival, the suspect uh, started firing at the officer. And then in terms of right now, do you know how many people were into the location when shots were being fired? I do not have that information right now. And then right now I know that you have taken statements, so what is the next steps and process in terms of what we're looking at? Uh, the next process will be our investigators will speak with all the uh, witnesses to at the scene upon receiving that information will allow us to continue our investigation. Uh, the deputies who were involved in the incident will go through what's called two sleep cycles, allow them to process what they through the, uh, the event that they went through this evening. And then we have a crime scene investigator from the Indiana State Police on a route to the scene. And that officer will uh, do the whole crime scene investigation and take care of uh, any evidence that's gathered from the incident that we're currently working this evening. Um, is there anything else you think we're missing? Anything else you think we have? No, I don't think so. That's pretty it. Um, well, I'll be, uh, once I re receive some more information, uh, we'll be putting out a news release and we'll, do, we'll be discussing uh, with the uh, Sheriff Justin Cole about the officers that are involved in this incident and we'll get that information out to you guys as quickly as we can and make sure that's accurate.